nice. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just relax. I'll take care of everything. There's going to be no problem at all. Two rooms. Yes, I remember. Two rooms, two rooms, two rooms. Hi, how you doing? <sighs> Nothing left but a single. Well, then that's it. No, no, honey, please, please. <laughs> Jeez. I have a real snoring problem. It keeps her up all night, you know? Yeah, my wife's the same way. Right. I understand. <laughs> so you think you can help us out? All I got's a single. Well, then really? I'm out of here. Uh, we'll take sweetheart, please, please, sweetheart. Don't you sweetheart me. There's nowhere else to go, Felicia. I can go to the bench at the train station. No, no, you can't, remember? All the benches were taken. This isn't funny. I know it's not funny. The man has left us no other choice. This never would have happened if you had not come aboard the train. Or if you would have kicked me off, which you did, didn't you? Shh, 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 shh. Now, we have no other choice. So it looks like it's just you and me stuck in one room. Okay? okay. <clears throat> we'll take it. Name? I'm sorry. Uh, Jones. Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Yeah, sure. Um, outside, upstairs, second door on the left. Outside, upstairs, second door on the left. Thank you very much. Come on, honey. Got the bag? There we are. Nice. Here, allow me out. I've got it. I'd carry you over the threshold, but I'm wounded. That's what people do when they're married. Yeah, I remember. We're not married. Oh, I forgot. Stop it. You're not married to Colt, neither. I just thought I'd remind you Stop that. Stop it. I'm not going to let you get to me like that. I apologize. I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. No, no, I, I, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry, okay? No more kidding around. You have my word. You're not kidding me, Frisco. You've got something in your head all planned out, but it's not going to work. Well, it may not be what you think, though. Just listen to me, okay? This is the truth. All I want to do is talk with you. Just talk. There must be some other way out of this town. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, I heard you. You can talk. You can talk all you want. But I need to think. That's why I'm going to my grandmother's in the first place. There must be a box or something that'll get us out of this town. Well, you look for the bus. All right, I'll just put things away, and we'll talk after that. I said that the train stops every five miles. How am I going to get to Texas in time? Oh, boy. What now? I don't know. Where's that schedule? I, what I could do is just go to Chicago and then take the shuttle from there mm -hmm. down to Texas. Where did I do with that schedule? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe you put Here it... Here it is. You got it? Yes. Okay. What's it? Uh, oh, a lot of good that's going to do me. It doesn't leave until Wednesday. Hmm. Well, it gives us a lot of time to talk, unless you had something else in mind. What do you want from me? To talk. Just... just to talk. All right, we'll talk. Well, thank you very much. But thank not you. here. Well, why not here? I mean, we have the room. It's just the two of us. I just think we should be in public when we talk. In public? You're serious? Yes. Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Let's just there's... get out of here. I was going to say, there's a place next door called the Hat Trick. I've been there before. And... We can go there if you want. Hey. You sure you want to do this? Well, well, well. Looks like things are picking up around here. Check out who just walked in. Yeah. Look who walked in with him. Oh, I don't know. She's not so hot. 
Why don't you do me a favor? Take these. Tell her. Listen, tell her these are on the house. Why? Oh, oh. Tell her I want to rematch. Phoebe. like your haircut. It's really nice. Thank you. Oh, um, Decker says that these are on the house, and whenever you're ready, he's ready for a rematch. Not right now, okay? Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Now, for our little talk about you and me. Now, wait a minute. There is no you and me. You don't believe that any more than I do. Let's just back up for a minute. Do you remember when you told me that when you catch Domino, you were going to leave town? So I lied. Well, stop it. You said you wanted to talk to me, so talk to me. What am I supposed to think when you go back on your word? What are you trying to achieve? Trying to remind you of the way it was before there was ever a domino or ever a Colton Shore. That's not fair. Well, none of this is fair. You know, once upon a time, we made a commitment to each other that we would spend the rest of our lives together and give to each other and care for one another. Well, it didn't work out that way, right? But it still can, and I want that. What I do with the rest of my life it's a decision that I have to make. I understand that. No, I know that. I don't think you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be following me. I followed I... you because I don't want you to forget what we had. You think I'm going to forget? God, I hope not. I can't. You see, you tell me things have changed. But I know they haven't. I know how you feel. I know how you feel when I look at you. I know how you feel when I touch you. See what I mean? You just pulled your hand away from me. Because you can't deal with what's going on inside of you, inside of your heart and your stomach. You deny it. You deny me right now that you don't care about me and love me. I I'll walk right out of here. Yes, you do have to hear this. Because I must say this. You're not married to Colton anymore, so you can't use that as an excuse. So it's just you and me, sweetheart. One on one. And I want you. So you're going to have to make a decision. Yeah.